This is the shit I live for. All right, welcome into a squad ops one life event. Rising Giant on the boards today. Getting ready to kick off here. Players getting their briefing now. So we'll be joined by players probably in the next 10 minutes or so. Getting ready for a live, hopefully before top of the hour. Rising Giant, Russia versus Mill on Gorodok. Should be good times ahead. Thanks for joining. I'm B Carr. Gonna be taking you guys through what is going on today. Hopefully less shenanigans on the stream than last time. Made a few changes in the back end. Hopefully nothing is gonna go crazy. I think I'm trying to push whatever system I have to the limit and it's not good, generally. So, Rising Giant. On Overcast Gordok. Uh, it is pretty straightforward here. The whole point of the operation is that uh, Russia are looking to secure Soloniki. Militia are defending it with limited supply. Russia have uh, options for their platoon. They could choose an infantry option or a mechanized option. Infantry option is transport trucks, includes GLs for each squad. Also two times breacher. And they get artillery smoke barrage to help them move in. A mechanized option gets MTLBs with KVPT turrets. Two of them in fact. The, uh, there's also two extra engineers for the uh, MTLB option there. The big decision that Russia has to make is which route do they go and then how do they set up on Soloniki? Militia, on the other hand, get a lat and an engineer in every squad plus two extra lats or uh, plus two extra highlights, uh, six ammo bearers, <laughs> and they get a choice of two hats or two HMG or two medium machine guns. Sorry, uh, and they get four logi trucks and a dish kateki. So that's going to be two thousand ammo and ten thousand build all told for the Soloniki defense, a sizable defense position. They're going to get. Two HMGs, an SPG, and uh, various fortifications, not camo, no camo on the fortifications. So standard fortifications. 10,000 build though is a lot. And depending on how much lead time they have to run up uh, to the, uh, to live here, I think it'll be, kind of rough to spend 10,000 build, but I'm sure someone will make it happen. Uh, the FOB radio is gonna have to be inside of one of the buildings or one of the compounds, so the fenced in areas inside Soloniki. That is the limitation. That's pretty much all I have for the, uh, the brief here. Able squad leaders, uh, two IC Silas, Utopian and Killer. Our plan and our mission are really very straightforward. We need to go in and liberate the good people of Solmoninki from the cruel militia who have taken up uh, residence there. They've got a, 
a base that's somewhere in the vicinity of golf 11. I'm going to put a great big red circle indicating that general area on the map. We need to check all the buildings there. We're looking for a fob radio and our mission is to destroy it, kill all the militia uh, combatants and save the town of Soloniki. To do that, from live, we're going to be mounting up the majority of the platoon in our transport trucks, heading south using the MSR, traveling on the red arrows that are on the map. We're going to dismount those vehicles and Delta 11, that's the yellow pickup marker. Excuse me. Platoon will then be heading on foot to the east. The idea is that we don't have any negligent discharges. We are trying to be sneaky and uh, accidentally shooting a weapon defeats that purpose. So try not to accidentally shoot your weapon as we head to the east to get staged up. You guys can see where the uh, various squad movement markers are. That's the uh, disposition I want the platoon in. Um, we won't be looking to uh, engage the enemy unless we're fired upon. I want uh, only your squad leaders, maybe your fire team leaders, do anything peaky with the uh, binos. Everyone else should just be on the west side of that slope in complete uh, cover and concealment. Um, while that's all going on, Silas has an intrepid buddy pair who will be using our Tiger as a diversion. They're going to set up somewhere around Golf 8 and start putting on fire on the northern side of the objective. The idea and intent behind that is to draw some of the malicious fo militia forces in that direction. Um, and even if it doesn't work, uh, to move the entire platoon that way, it'll probably cause at least one squad to have to, uh, to watch that sector, which should give us a degree of asymmetry. And we have a departure from the operation document. Mission is going to be the... I haven't even started the operation yet. Uh, there will be smoke mortars dropped. I have two lots of them. So if you don't make it across the river after that, then you're on your own in the wide open trying to do it. So once you see those smoke mortars landing, it is time to lace up your Nikes and get across the river. <laughs> the idea is, is that we uh, get the whole platoon in the forest just west point. That forest is in Gulf 11 at the end of all your uh, the yellow uh, arrows that indicate which way your, your squad's moving. The Southern Squad, Killer Squad, will have uh, responsibility for Southern security, Southeastern security, as we push northeast for the forest. Uh, likewise, in similar vein, a Utopian Squad on the north will have uh, the responsibility of watching for any militia flanking from the north. It's very likely they're going to be very well spread out. Uh, so as the battle progresses, just keep look, looking behind you as we push in because they, they'll have forces in district technicals and, and other types of um, uh, vehicles probably coming back to the point. They may end up coming back in behind us. Once we get into the uh, general area of the town indicated by the red circle, we're looking to identify as quickly as possible where their location is and then we'll use maximum aggression and firepower to close with the enemy and destroy them. Any questions? All right, awesome. Have fun, guys. Don't forget, we do have a second round. So if you do die, uh, sad face, but you can go into admin cam and spectate. And uh, in the second round, we get to be the defenders. All right, squad leaders, let's get ready for life. A fan curve got deleted. Oh, we're live. Round one of Rising Giant. And we're seeing side-by-side -side racing. Command vehicle in front because he's on the road. Silas cutting through. There's a tree. No, no, you need to play like Don't Tell Mama in Chechnya because we're about to get the same outcome. Yeah. The rear vehicle is damaged because the vehicles exploded because they were sitting there. They were spawned in. And uh, it's just a problem of vehicles spawned in. There's no main protection for them. Or something with it. I don't know. It's a it's a problem with mods recently. Command vehicle still in the lead. Coming up to another turn. And Silas pulls ahead. On arts ticks for lag. All right, that's enough. Let's go take a look and see what we got going on here. Uh, warp speed. Okay, uh, we need to go this way. Utopian jumped out as bar showed. Well, if he's wounded, then he can get healed. A medic will notice that. All right, so we're going to have some people pushing out. We do have some people pushing out. Not so much in the north. Far better racing than F1. I haven't watched F1 lately. To be honest, I'm a scrub that watches those Netflix documentaries. Because the Netflix documentary, because everything being 
compressed into like one hour chunks over the course of a season I think is more drama than worth buying an F1 membership for you know what I mean plus the interviews are great all right so uh what were we gonna look at okay the south so this is the south Dishka is here in a fixed position no one's on it right now it is a tripod so it's gonna have great traverse Dishkateki by Barry Boops. Some great driving here by Barry. He's rolling out. Uh, there's some buddy teams pushed out to the rock cropping into the forest. So I imagine Polish is going to get some great, uh, some great input here as the whole entire Russian platoon comes towards him. Up in the north, Dishka and the SPG sitting behind the rocks over there. We already know that position. The town itself. Fortifications have been stretched considerably. Matter of fact, there is quite a bit of blocking going on here. Razor wire on both sides of this. There's a shot already. Was that a Russian ND? Go for four. Your tiger is weapons free. Let me know when they start engaging. That. Could have been an, a militia ND. Sounded closer. But these guys are taking cover. Uh, we're going to go ahead across the river and take a look. Russia dismounted pretty early here. Yeah. Uh, just like Londart said, uh, wanted to reduce the potential of a squad full of players being destroyed. Pretty sure that's what happened in July when we last ran this operation. There were some bad times involving shenanigans in the Northeast. More vehicles exploding in the rear. See that? SPG no, not me. Londart's already paralyzed with fear that an SPG. Roger. They don't know what it was. SPG does not have eye, will not have eyes north. Can't turn 360 degrees. I think it's only got like a 50 or 60 degree traversal. So that SPG is pretty much fixed on this clearing right here. Now, if this is this HMG is a tripod like the one of the south is, this could be pretty strong watching the north, especially against a Tiger. Understood. If you want to get closer to the four, then. Uh, she was planning to do that anyway. School, but... yeah, FTLs are no looking. This is an overcast layer, so the fog is real and definitely happening inside of 200 meters. Aware that there's two lots of smoke barrages. There won't be any more after that, so if they're not across the river, life's going to be hard for them. Expect contact as soon as we get into the forest. Make sure you're um, you know, maintaining our momentum, and uh, good luck. Oh, Channel Command, Silas, and then Squad Lead Order. I guess we're just D -day -ing. What was that? That was a lat shot? I'm so happy. Hovis made with the distraction shot here. I mean, oh, no. That's good. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, just looking through fog. Can't see fuck all. Um, Squad 2 is set. Um, do you want me calling, um, the support on the uh, other side of the river? Not Skyline in it. I've got a view on it. I'm about to uh, set it up. Command gonna set up smoke so they can advance across the river. There's only two people here. Are all squads set to cross? Or is there any squad ready? To cross? You're ready, Chief Man. Oh, we are seeing AT mines in play. AT mine right, so going to be irrelevant for this operation. Well, unless the Dishkateki runs over one. Nichols, go a bit north. 
They knows Jay. What are you watching? You're watching a one life event. We all let off a mag and then we rush. Russia, Russia is preparing to assault a militia base in Soloniki here on Gordok. Their objective is the radio that's right here at Hotel 1174. So three squads v three squads, one life. So once you once you hit the give up screen, you're done for the round. This is online PvP. Game of squad. We're just playing with a little bit of different set of rules than a vanilla game. Uh, you can see the smoke barrage uh, sort of diameter is going to be big. So you're going to see a big barrage coming in here. One of two that Russia have access to. So I imagine we'll see one here and then probably one here. <laughs> That was a good one. They are going to be rushing at the start landing. Here it comes. And here we go. Okay, ready? <laughs> Our commander goes first. Kill Jay's guys pretty much on the water's edge. Overwatch adding suppression. As they're running, and they're just gonna run it across the river here. <laughs> Militia is defending. Did you guys spot any contact in these woods? Or Negative, we just but just shoot, shoot them? in there to encourage them to fall back. Got it. My time's Encourage them to fall back. Budget Saint and Polish Serb are the first ones up, and the command is running straight for them. They've made it, and Budget Saint and Polish are not moving. He's hoping if you can get another one up to me anywhere further east. Anywhere. Uh, they're looking for another mark, so they're going to use two smokes to advance through the forest. Players are moving up and through. This is the militia position here. Budget Saint of below me is now looking for people to shoot. GL thrown in. Hits right in the middle. Budget Saint okay. Uh, Basie runs straight into Budget Saint. That's the first casualty. Hood finds Budget Saint. Great shot here. Grenade thrown. Would not have done the job. It was a miss. Polish in a bush is probably calling all the information as possible. Everyone is not really changing position. Militia grenade thrown doesn't seem to be doing anything. And Polish misses the first burst on Mazar, and everyone turns on him. Are we, nice guys. Are we good? The guys from the rocks looks like they're firing on friendlies. Oh, no, that's friendly, friendly. That's friendly. Smoke's taking a fucking time. Second smoke is not going to be as useful as they think because it's just centered around their position. Dishka from Berry Boops and <laughs> Hot Bunny Bitch from Space Jam. Firing into the forest now. Cheese man and Matt Honcho first across the road. I'm on that. Grenades thrown. Scottish champ now on the dishka here. Jump in the fence. Make sure we maintain 360. Scottish saw that. Building looks More casualties here. Oh. Here comes the dishka. The dishka takes out Droppy J. Matt Honcho wounded. Soviet slushy also getting some shots in there. 
Matt Honcho being spotted bandaging is just trying to hide in there. Scott is just going to pull off the Tishka, though. So he knows his days are numbered. Meanwhile, in the north, Meinhain and Fisco stop an entire squad by themselves, throwing grenades down the hill. Northeast. Keep the pressure right, up. Looks like it's too out. Meinhain got tagged there. Fisco takes out Jesus 01. Mine Hay bandages and Fisco is going to pull back here. Mine Hay is kind of committed to this position. Doesn't look like he's got anywhere to go. He's going to hold that rock as the Russians are going to pull around the west side of these rocks. And Mine Hay is going to take advantage of these smokes. Try him down for it, say, me is Nichols. I think Bong saw him. Copy, moving. I'm watching your right. Just saw a couple of guys. Keep going. Take that rock. Russia taking advantage, and the, uh... The first position has fallen. So, Militia playing very defensively here. They have a back line and the middle point, which is their main objective. Shoot that. Nichols pushes up to Minehay, and Minehay has got the drop on him. You get him? Nickel's on down. Nope. Got Ezo him. takes out Minehay though. Fisco on the rock here on the right. One FTL and one squad. Watching southeast, south. south. Two dudes. I'm gonna, gonna try to watch north, 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 west. Okay. Scottish, I think Fisco fired, so Scottish is hunting this guy. The town, Only mags. Fisco has a great position here. Okay, keep your 60. We're gonna do this again. We're gonna throw If he had a grenade, he'd be in the money right now. All of these okay. Russian guys are sitting right here in the middle. It's a great position to try to bank one in. Fisco looking for his routes. More shots southeast. We'll take a look at that. Dishka's on the move. Shots being fired probably from this direction in. Here comes the smoke. Fisco, I think he's going to get some kills here. We do have friends on the southeast, so watch out for your crossfire. Alright, okay, we're, we're gonna go we're gonna take a look over here as a fire team is pushing across the main road. Clear. All the suppression in the world and they're pushing up to the main compound. Not a lot of cover in these woods. Dishka has been moved to the back line here. Snickers got hit from it. Mazar is just pushing in. He sees the Dishka gunner. Why doesn't he shoot? The Dishka techie is going to move. Mazar actually walks in and kills Han the Hun and gets killed in turn by Archer in the defensive line. RPGs flying everywhere. It's a great fight for me. And Fisco in the north actually got away. It doesn't look like he took any more casualty. He made any more kills here. Great question from Thalen. There is no respawn in one life ops. So once you die, you're done. Once you go down, you can't be revived. Very dense defense here from. Almost, he's real close. Yeah, I did it. Very dense defense here from militia. A little bit of misjudging of the distance here. Alright, that's good. Yeah, so Plenty of G3s it. firing though. There's only about a squad's worth in reserve, a squad plus in reserve, about a squad size force plus in the middle here. Yeah. Bum -bum, was that you there? Russia doesn't have their entire force committed yet. Legar must be AFK. Grenade overthrown. Silas gets zipped from somewhere. Just 
is really chaotic here. I'm going to try to stay in the... Stay in here. It looks like the Dishka tank got abandoned. Eight kills to 15 for Mill. Keep pressing on. You want us to push into you a few guys? Eight kills for Russia is not enough. I'm gonna try to cross and get him. Right, I was firing from through the window, I think. Oh, razor wire. They're just now discovering the razor wire. Here comes grenades. Grenade almost took out lawn darts. Russia need to use those GLs in these buildings. Oh, command. <laughs> and command goes down. Liberal also hit is going to bleed out. And here, there's the push fizzling for Russia. Like Militia defense too strong here. But they do have probably ears on this radio. Radio is the objective. Of course, the two guys aren't going to be able to do it all by themselves. Bum Bum is pushing straight through. Really? Oh, Barry got out there, but it looks like Bum Bum got traded from Soviet slushy. Kind of hard to tell who I got the who actually got the shot there. There's like four mil inside this building right here. Plus Keiko time and Jikazuki defending close on the radio. And Militia have a roving team going to sweep west side of everything. Chikazuki rolling with a medium machine gun. I know that's just the AR. It's just a G3. Cover me, please, somebody, while I heal. Yeah. Cheese man, medic. He's gonna heal himself back up. The one thing you can do. Meanwhile, ever all the other Russians are just basically holding their own, trying to advance as slowly as possible. Bow gets dropped inside the cheese man. Founds one. RPG hits close to the cheese man. I'm in my fucking AK, but whatever. I can switch to it. Fighting through this fence is pretty rough. All the militia in the world are just chilling here. And militia, now that I say that, are starting to sweep in from the west. Right, here? right behind these guys. Yeah, there's a to get AR up to maybe. There's an AR peeking out of this window. I think that's our best. Uh, Slayer, Slayer Felty and Hood over here on the east side of the village, southeast side of the village, trying to find a way in. in command chat. <laughs> uh, I'm currently like a mile away from all friendly, so. Hey, uh, to yourself? Oh, they ditched the vehicle. So those are the two Russians that are that were in the vehicle harassing North, trying to throw these guys off. Didn't really end up working out in their favor right now. 20 kills mil, 11 kills for Russia. Free Stalker with rear security. Uh, by the road. Uh, enemy around 200 by the red building now, I think. They were crossing the road from uh, right to left. And Nacho Man Randy, Macho Man Randy from the rocks takes off Free Stalker. Forward gets gunned down. Ezo has to make a run for it. He's the last one on these rocks. Back to the main, uh, uh, the main uh, base here. Five Russians still in the south, trying to probe their way in. So you're to 3.30 yeah. Yeah. in that town building. All these fortifications... Ooh, where did that come from? By the blue building shoot him if I see him. There was Archer in the back. Yeah, if you see him, shoot him. Archer gets headshot by Matt Honcho. <laughs> the immediate frag rocket follow-up from Soviet Slushy. 
Or maybe that wasn't Soviet Slushy. Who was that? Fisco's got a G3. Scottish. Now that was Hovis or Vuck from behind. Grenade. Vuck gets walked up on by a 6 1 and Mystic. RPG nails 6 1 through the sandbag. And another RPG shine. That was from Scottish, I believe. Straight onto Hovis' position. No cover. Meanwhile, inside the building, Bus Driver Man Stan and Redibus have gone down. Bot 123 is bandaging and healing. And sustains. It's just Hood and Slayer here. Lagar. Oh, Phoenix is walking up behind these guys. Slayer is. Looks like he's keeping the rear guard behind. Saw him, but didn't make the trade and didn't make the shot in time. Lagar from. Got Phoenix from behind, though. Russia down to four. Hood gets binked from somewhere to his uh, southwest, and I think that was Inky. Lurch also making a run for it there. Hovis get the building cleared? No. One's more inside the building. Took down three, or took down two. Oh, what a grenade throw from... Who was that? Might have been Felty made that grenade throw. Takes out Bot, but goes down in the process. Lager also shot in the back. Ezo makes a shot on JJK. I believe Ezo's going to be our last Russian for this round. Still one defender on the radio itself. And there's plenty more militia out there. JJK goes down, so that was Macho Man, Randy's buddy. Shots being fired towards Ezo's position. Someone saw his legs. Instinctive grenade throw, and it doesn't go well. I think it bounced off the rock in front of him, and Ezo got scared. He's running off. Macho Man might have a shot here. Nope, I don't think he knows. He's still looking to his east. It's a great attempt by Russia, but they ran into such a great defense. Like a nice layered defense from Militia. They didn't have the men to can carry on after the main attack got pretty much blunted. They did make some great progress, though. Getting eyes on the objective... And knowing where it is, I think, is uh, definitely a win in this scenario. However, the trades for Russia didn't go their way. As I'm now hanging out the north side, he's going to try to sweep around. If he goes anywhere, he's got to use the... It's kind of hard to see what's going on here. Scottish is actually... Looking this direction with an RPG out. Turns around. Did Ezo see him? It's a big question. He's going to make a run for it, though. Shots fired. Not sure who that was for. Ezo sneaking through. Mystic might be able to spot him. Also, Fisco hiding in a bush pretty close is not looking is looking this direction. Fisco might have spotted him. No, he's still looking. Ezo saw him. And boom goes the dynamite. Scottish basically point blanking a frag rocket into the tree. That's going to do it for round one. 
All right, circle around platoon brief. All right, we're going to listen to the bow's platoon brief here. Excellent work last round. I would say that was uh, victorious. Uh, we'll talk about it later in the, uh, the AAR for leadership. If you're an FTL, stick around. You'll be dragged at a specific time if you are on our our, uh, our team. Otherwise, please join us in Lounge Alpha. We'll be seeing the invasion server after GG. All right, let's focus on the, uh, the operation at hand, minimize movement. We are attacking the village of Solinki. You guys know what that village looked like from last round. We're going to do it a little bit differently than they did, but some of the things will be the same. The important thing is that when the plan changes on the fly, you're listening to your FTL and your SLs because the plan will change in real time. The plan as it stands now is we're going to have a base of fire provided by squad one and squad four. If you look at your maps, you will see I'm placing vehicle markers in Fox 10 and uh, Fox 11. Uh, additionally, we will have ARs providing as much uh, base of fire as we can along the hill command squad and squad one will be doing so. Uh, we're gonna send the two transports with squad three and with squad two in the northern sides. They're gonna be flanking around. They're gonna be very sneaky, um, very sneaky whenever you're going through terrain. As soon as you hit a river, listen to your SLs, get across that river quickly, bounding effectively, because you'll be a sitting target. Once you're crossed, then go back to sneaky mode. And depending on how it plays out, you guys will come in from the east, the north, etc. And we have a second deviation from the document. Engage. Engage. God bless. Yeah. Okay. Um, your drivers are already selected. SLs break them out. Stand by for life. Oh, we're live with round two of Operation Rising Giant. MTLB is leading the way. Transport would be smart to just drive past these guys. The transport is just going to hold a position in convoy, let the MTLBs get a little bit of speed here, and then follow up. Kind of smart. All right, let's get some speed here and roll towards Soloniki and take a look at these fortifications. So they're gonna take the back roads, maybe hop out here. There's a dismount point here. This could be a very long round. <laughs> that might not go my way. <laughs> Nobody crossing the river. And mines calor. Two, four. SPG down in the south here. Let's take a look at that first. SPG and the Dish Kateki with an HMG and a significant amount of folks, and they have sandbags galore. Sandbags, razor wire, double layers of razor wire trying to cut off. There is the Dish Kateki being used as a de facto second HMG. Not got the greatest sight lines, but anything helps. Lots of grenade traps. And then a great position here looking southwest. And here's the other HMG armored tripod. It's actually in a great position looking south and southwest. Not so much to the west though, the rocks in the way. It could do something to the southeast. Might be a problem for these guys running up here, but just barely a problem, I think. Uh, more towards the north, here's where the radio is in this compound. Rooftop in use here. Explosions from Russia Main. We're just going to ignore that. And we have swanky sandbags inside buildings. Very cool. I don't know if the shed counts as a building, but it is what it is. There's the radio itself. That's the objective for Russia. Inside this structure, the only way in is through the front door, and there's a little bit of a uh, 
What kind of delay we got on this stream? We got zero delay on this stream. You're seeing it as it happens. At the front door here, a little bit of a uh, log wall here. Might be where a lot of these resources are going. Log walls great because they provide additional protection, but they are more expensive. Sandbags in buildings, very lame, but we did see it round one. So we are throwing rules out the window as per usual. Big sandbag cordon here in this little courtyard here. Cutting off the road. This could be a little bit of a tight fit for MTLBs to get through here, but it is possible. Uh, mine positions. We got a double stack here. MTLBs are going to hold at this mount point until infantry gets closer to stake. So it looks like, yep, there's one right there. And the second one is going to be... Uh... In the trees. Well, what? They actually put one off the road? Where's it at? They put a mine off the road. Can I find this thing real quick? Oh, I think that's it. No, that's not it. Where's the other mine? It's behind me. I'm having a hard time finding this other mine. Oh, it's an AP mine. Oh, boy. <laughs> AP mine's in play, guys. Uh, let me check and see if that's a thing. That's not a thing. So, rules are being broken left and right here. AP mine's indicated as not active in the document. AP mines are not as effective as you think they are. We have dismounts from Russia, so 600 meters to roll. Didn't, uh, dismount at the right spot. 600 meters to roll before action here, plus another 300 meters to cross the river and to get into contact. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other mine locations. Probably a pretty standard AT mine somewhere on the road here. Mm, there it is. Uh, and we've got one more on the back. Uh, we'll have a move with your MTLBs. Um, I so it should be... For your MTLB safety. Oh, it's off the road here. Is this another AP mine? Nope, there it is. AT mine actually off the road. That's a good placement. I think that works. Because that's a natural place to park an MTLB to dismount troops. It's a little bit in the open of the south, but like... This could be a, a great blocking position, I think. So this is a pretty smart mine, I think. And there was also an SPG here. There it is. Right next to Hovis here. It is pointing up the road. To the northeast. It's actually got a great view. So to add insult to injury, AT mine gets hit and then you just shoot this thing in the SBG and I'm pretty sure you pop an MTLB with this. That combo. We have hats in play. One north, one south. Hovis is your other hat here. In the north we have Lagar. Rolling with his own FTL. What's our EPA on the river crossing? Russia taking their time here. Inky needs to update because he's got the longest to go. He wants to go all the way to the south here. He's not going to have a good time trying to screen the south here. Even if he stays in these woods, he's got to stay on the back side of this hill. So this hill might actually save their maneuver. 
Because you imagine they're going to run... Right, let's get those MTA bills rolling. This is where they want to cross here. So you imagine they definitely want to cross like right this. They're probably going to choke up into this little hill. Someone is inevitably going to stick their head up right about here and then be shot at by about half a squad plus that are watching the south approach here. And all squads, advisement set. ND inside at Mill Town here. Pretty inconsequential. See arrows to see where everyone's looking. Londard's doing the patrol in town. Just like a good old mill boss would. Lots of people looking to the west here. Not very many keeping their eyes south. MTLB starting to make their way up. They're off-roading, so it's going to take them a hot minute. Well, remember, the main plan for... Russia here is command squad plus MTLBs roll on the hill. And then infantry squads pour across the river. That's happening right now. Polish leading his guys to the water's edge. Right now we're just getting to the other side of the river. Inky crosses a bit further west of his intended crossing point. He's going to use the road here to sort of guide him in. Imagine he breaks off here. Or maybe... He actually goes with his original plan. When you, uh, you feel safe. Vehicles are and I think someone ran over at AP mine. No, drop EJ on digs is, in, is AP mine. So, uh, so an admin caught it. AP mine out of play. That's one more mine potentially in play here. Just got to figure out where he's going to get the ammo for that. So we are back to the violation of just sandbags and buildings, so sad, but it was used round one, so what are you going to do? I'm experiencing some packet loss right now. Uh, it's, it's going down, but uh, if I do DC, it's uh, not because I hate you all. Server 40 ticks. Running, uh, Fizco, uh, over Polish, if you believe that uh, Polish won't be able to effectively take over in time. And it's just the waiting game as MTLBs are rolling up to the hill here. Let's take a look at that. MTLBs pretty much in position. The second one having a little bit of trouble. It's not that hard. We start it moving is. south whenever. <laughs> okay, we'll just let the vehicle drive and you'll fall off. It'll be fine. Better to just move forward. Stick to the from the other <laughs> Oh, Alright, that was pretty funny. I don't know what's up with that. MTLBs holding back on their ramp. So, a pincer movement here. Two is still running. I think two minutes is pretty generous here. Over there. That's what I'm hoping, at least. And TLB is looking for a place to look shoot from. Would Mill have eyes on this? Bum Bum is the only one with uh, optics that can see this. He's got to look through a bunch of trees. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. Basically, I think we're going to see... All this MTLB fire happen. Depending on how antsy these guys want to be, they're going to push out. Positioning right now. 
they need to get stam because if these guys start shooting, they gotta start running, and they want this high ground. This is two, two is ready for. Two holding for stam in the south, so the pincer attack is gonna be real. Ready to provide support and fire on command go. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do some quick sound offs here. Squad three, Barry, are you staged and ready to begin your assault? Okay, so Bow's gonna get everyone to confirm again. Set in a position. We can uh, sneak forward a little bit more. We can go a little more south if you want us to before we uh, start the assault. Copy. Remember, it's we're so foggy. We're so far this range, isn't the and assault. you we have, have no help. You have no supporting <laughs> so this, is, this is a sneak attack. So keep that in mind. Copy that. Three is set. It's a good thing for Buster Iron Man to stand here. It doesn't need depression. Inky stage, ready to move. Copy. Inky, remind you guys, this is a sneak assault. If they go in guns blazing, they will die. There is no squad to protect them. Alright, squad one, are you ready to open up and provide a base of fire and a giant ass distraction? Will three and two move? One is ready. Copy. Brief you guys, I need uh, I need non-stop bullets, but I don't want to run out of ammo, so let them know. Get them ready. They got the vehicles to rearm off of. Hearts and the other... I... Gun here. Yeah, we're just suppressing, so... We're just gonna hold right. this position. Squad one. Just shoot, and, uh, east, just shoot east, boys. Just shoot east. Just shoot east. Let's rain hate on that village. That sounds uh, pretty free. stupid. Copy. I'm shooting move, Mark. Shoot! Everybody over Yeah, it's gonna have to lie. The suppression is real. Militia not budging. Maybe reinforcing here in the north. Unfortunately, tough one. Not gonna be able to hear Mills comms. Unless I switch teams real quick. But honestly, uh, there's still the problem of I can get the origin rebasing issue while being in spectator cam and switching teams is still a problem because 3.2 got reverted and the fix got taken out. So. Are we getting any return fire at the destruction squad? This is Inky's guys in the south. Squad one, is there any uh, return fire? Sounds like limited return fire, not accurate, not directed. Sounds like they are trying to shoot some lats blindly. Let's get some contact reports. One, what do we got? Nope. Lat goes out from Russia here. Yeah, squad is... It's not as simple as switching radio frequencies in Arma. If I could do that, I'd do that all day. Lots of rounds being used here by the suppression squad. That shot was actually decently close to some players. Oh, and a kill! Duke Noobum got blind shot by a lat. And he goes down. MTLBs are okay. We'll preserve enough ammo for the fight. What a way to go down. The first casualty of the round is a blind rocket shot. On mill. We can get into this rock stand. Hold the level at one six. 
ramp pose using his binox trying to figure out what is going on. Squad 2 now in position starting to use the rocks to move in. This is going to be a pretty open way for them to get in, but they have to deal with this concave uh, position here. One is going to rain fire on them once they realize what's going on. Meanwhile, in the north. It's just Lagar up here by himself. Sorry, base of fire. Uh, for two, two wants to go ahead and push in. Lagar hoping for ro hoping for vehicles. All right, stand by. Squad one. Or he's AFK. One or the other. You, uh, effectively provide a base of fire with three and allow two to push in. Russia. We can't engage anything on the town. So we don't see anything. We can send infantry to cover with three. Ah, uh, got a position. In a great position to watch the north side of town, but there's nobody here. Times four infantry, a fire team on your west. Help, or should we just push in now? Watch it, watch it. We gotta stop moving. It's really easy to see movement. Legar runs away. Uh, let's make it happen. One, one. Oh, Send that okay. fire team. They don't see him. They weren't looking. Still get back into it. All right, all squads. Okay. Let's light him up, base of fire, squad two, go ahead and start moving in. Three, I need bullets firing, squad okay, one, I need on okay. Alright, three now being called to provide suppression. Jericho on me, on me. Yeah, yeah, going to run. Make sure you space out, guys. One is getting uh, ready to move here. Okay, well, never mind, I guess. I'm next queue. Displays that firing. So the suppression is happening on the north side now. Inky and his guys are coming down from the hill. Great cover to their west. For a little bit while for a little while longer, so I I would have to imagine no one knows they're here. Two still rolling along, taking it very cautiously as one is hodgepodging their way across. Matter of fact, MTLB is getting ready to roll across the bridge. Dishkoteki on the move? Techie looks like he's just repositioning. Let's keep it moving. Let's get better eyes north here. This is actually going to be a lot better to help defend. North of three, once we can start engaging contact close. I like it one, make it so. <laughs> make it so. We got a fire team here pushing across. Uh, I don't know what this is about. Russia gonna get really close here. Barry actually got pinged by some return fire earlier. Looks like Russia. This is a problem. Shots now being fired. Here comes grenades. They weren't looking for the southern end of the village. They were going for the north side. SPG? SPG is in play! JJK goes down. The smoke is just a great target for that SPG. They're saving the SPG rounds. Nope, there's a double kill. Mystic and Dark Prometheus. Gonna pull back a little. That SPG position paying off as to just completely ignore the southern end of the uh, the range here. 
And this is where the attrition happens. Mills starting to get a count. Four bodies down from Russia. No casualties for Mill yet, aside from that first blind rocket. Matt Honcho on this main position Dishka. Let's take a look and see what these guys are doing. They're still obeying the hold order. Phoenix now starting to push up. Definite contact maybe across the road. You see that big oak tree over there to like 160? Yeah, that M2B is lighting them up right now. The MTLB on the hill still providing a decent amount of cover to the west, from the west, rather. Oh, 2D route is actually in a great position to try to find something to shoot. Oh, I see. I see. 2D actually right outside where the radio is. Be careful. What is 2D gonna shoot here? Put a shot on to where Perf Cruise was. Looks like it was short. Another RPG lands in town. All these sandbags is gonna work both ways for something like that. Great grenade traps, but they're also going to stop RPGs from penetrating f past your position. Joe and Phoenix putting some rounds into town here. Militia all clumped up. RPG goes in and Lagar goes down. That was a hat. Russia or Militia can't be losing those. Speak of the devil, the MTLB has started to push in. Russia closing the gap on Franks. Three kills to Mills four. This Dishka doesn't have the greatest line of sight to the north. I don't think they were anticipating losing this much to the north. RPG goes out. Looks like short of the disc position. I think the truck saved Matt Honcho there. Command is actually here. Londarts is here. There's like an entire squad here. Oh, if they just start shooting rockets, this could cause problems. Defensive cordon for militia still holding, but Russia is organized and pushing from the northeast. I see one, I think right out. One Back in the fuck up. <laughs> Reloading. I covered fire. FTL smoke. Russia using rockets to punch holes in the uh, sandbags here now. AT rockets being used to punch holes in sandbags.
Burf's crews got lit up by that last rocket there. Second MTLB coming in now. All of the RPGs being used on these northern sandbags to get Russia to get a leg in here. Lurch goes down to a rocket, looks like. Macho Man also getting hit here. Mills line has not folded a single inch ever since they fell back to this indication. Rocket's still going out. Oh, what a double kill from a rocket there. Bum Bum and <laughs> Chief Sharif going down. I think that was AT and they got shot through the wall. More kills from Russia. Five to five. It's even now. MTLB pushing up. No mines in play on this north side until they hit to this intersection down here. I guess. Oh, it was a team kill. Oh no. Must have been a bad nade or something. Engine hit. Here comes the follow up. RPG, I think that was from Matt Honcho or the Cheese Man. Uh, I need to get out to repair. Can you tell me? Actually, could have been uh, Mazar. I have enough gun depression, so I won't be able to cover you, but you need to do it anyways. And repairs happening on vehicles. We are breaking the rules again. Vehicle repairing is supposed to be off. Londart's dead. I have no repair. Command is down for Mill. Reloading. Critical, critical. This could be a great shot for the SPG. Does the SPG see it? Yes, he does. And Silas make a follow-up shot in time. Go on two yeah, points. Hold. 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 Get the grenades. Back up. MTLB, light that up, please. I don't have the dash. Where they have been admins playing, I think. Oh. That's a bad shot. That's a lot of damage. We're hit. We have no ammo. They got ammo racked? They have no ammo? There goes Redibus and Bus Driver Man Stan. Dead to a latch shot point blank. The second of them be still operational. Reloaded. And we can see more rule breaking happening.
Silas trying to fire back here. His position is being covered by two shooters. No progress on the north side here from Russia. Mizar goes down, looks like a lamp from the forest. Or he just was shot from the forest. Progress being made for Russia though, very slowly. And Frederick and Hart go down, that was the other MTLB. Oh, it hit the mine! It hit the mine that was off the road! Oh, I'm sad I missed that. What a great position for that mine, by the way. The mine was intentionally placed off the center of the road. And here we go, they're gonna take... They're gonna take the uh, the hill here. The Silas C mine hay lurking. Mine hay saw Silas. Oh, he saw Hovis. <laughs> Silas tried to jump out to kill him. Silas is still going for it. What a mad lad. Mine haze crawled all the way around. Silas gets it twice though. Uh, 300, 300. RPG point blank takes out Fisco and Rod Budget Saint. Still even. The defense is folding around the objective now. And Russia have a great concave going. RPGs now being fired at vehicles to try to get splash kills. Squad 2, are you able to take those, uh, squad 3 rounds? There goes the l Lodgy in the main town, the main, uh, compound. There's only two people defending close on the radio. Copy. I'm gonna lob a nade over squad that tank. Squad 2, confirm which bank moving south. There's Phoenix. Phoenix going to throw a nade in here. Might catch Scottish outside. Nade out. They might actually catch Scottish. His nade didn't explode. Over the fence to the right. Unfortunate, he got a dud. Joe's going to go in. All right. Uh, Solitary wolf. Holding the corner. Going in. Grenade out. That grenade goes off. Russia still finding militia on this hilltop. Militia have pulled off the main hilltop. Well, bot one, two, three goes down to a grenade. Another grenade from Slayer. But also in a grenade from Russia. Overthrown from Russia. And off target for militia. But uh, as long as you're paying attention. Oh, Hovis is still here. Yeah, I'm supposed to be flanking, so here I am. Two, squad two, Hovis doesn't see these guys. He's right in front of them. Squad two, confirm. Uh, well, I think Bow's going to die here. We're firing south, friendly south. I'll copy two. Oh, Bow didn't check. There goes Bow. Hovis gets a kill. I think Lib got Archer there. Command. Expect. Expect the radio on. Grenade goes down. Killer J gets blown up by something. Any remaining infantry Scottish is also down on the radio. The radio is home free for Russia right now. 19 to 24, Russia might have the numbers to push the objective, but Militia can definitely retake. Yo, what do we do? 
This is a predicament. Not so much. They said, uh, go to golf 12.97 and you're meeting infantry. Uh-oh. They're going to push to the south hill. The objective's not there. Can they not hear the radio? We're regrouping there. Yep. I'm going to get down this hill. I don't want to be... They can't hear the radio. They're falling off. They're going to push straight towards Mill. Mill are falling off the hill right now, trying to push towards the objective. Oh no, what a horrible play from Russia. I'm the Russia had the objective dead to rights. Bob Ross finds uh, Bassey. And then Pliers walks straight into Slayer and Freestalker. Oh no! Bob Ross lit up by Hood. Oh, Russia had the objective and they walked away from it. Six Y, are you in this building? The red one, yeah. Okay. I dropped one to my southeast, so. So, we got Jikazuki and Honda Han. Was it the RPG guy that killed Now him? trying to roll around. No, I think it was in... Uh, Six one and Scottish are still closest to the objective. Okay. RPG. But I think the cheese man is looking for these guys here. No, the cheese man's in, his, in a hole, and he's just living in the hole. Very cool. To our south. We'll get her. So we need to group up with Ability her. rules in two places. Okay, so vehicle repairing was actually legal. Alright, cover. Rocket shot in. Local radio range, can you hear me? Because it's under specialty rules. Okay. We're base of fire. Uh oh, blue on blue. Do you have any smoke left, Scottish? Any smoke? Where at? No yeah, smoke. I have sm no, no smoke. Apparently. Okay, if I have one grenade. Has any smoke left? Push it onto the radio compound proper, Gulf 11 3. It's 50 meters to your southwest. Just uh, Jikazuki, is there a dead person next to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah there was. Yeah, you. Sure? Yeah. Smoke's being thrown, Southwest. and Militia have retaken the compound where the radio is. Still bad. <sighs> Russia just didn't have the information to go on. Bassey walks into Scottish, though. Once we get in, he claps in as well, okay? I think four on four. Hovis has a rocket. I think he wants to shoot it at Scottish's position. Hovis gets clipped as he does. And it looks like the rocket missed. Freestalker gets zinged by 6 1. It's a good idea from Freestalker, but I don't think it's going to pay off for him. Three defenders now. Hood trades with Jikazuki. 2v2. No, 2v3. Nope, 2v2. <laughs> Slayer defending close. And Hovis has got himself some tall grass to wait in. Scottish and 6 1 have to push this building. They know there's more contact up here. See, we approach it from... I'm not missing anyone else. I am missing someone else. No, I'm not. Okay. So two here and two there. So Scottish versus... Scottish and 6-1 versus Hovis and Slayer. Hovis is crawling backside of the building now. Right. I have a knife. Is that you moving? Yeah. Yep. Are you out of... Okay. 
Hovis stands up. Where was last contact? In this compound. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna move around. You see the top of that? You see the sandbags, right? Yeah. I think they're on the roof. I have a grenade. 6 1. Trying to throw for the roof here. Might bounce and hit Hovis. I think Hovis is in the courtyard now. He's on the backside. So Slayer and Hovis are just holding opposite angles here. Slayer watching west. Okay, I'm not quite the opposite angle I was anticipating. Hovis, I think, is putting pushing his gun through a hole in the fence, or he's right up on the corner here. Scottish and 6-1 are going to run the long way around. This is a competition. This is a one-life event. We hold these weekly. Saturdays and Wednesdays, sometimes Fridays. Today is a basic required event. So all these players went through a brief indoctrination. Save the grenade until we know positively where the enemy is. Okay. Ooh. I got your right side. That was a big spike from Scottish. Indoctrinate. Well, indoct well, it's a little training course on how to operate in the organization that we use and what to do, generally. Some basic rules. Nothing too crazy. A little bit of practical application. It's not like we uh, expect everyone to salute. On this side. It's, not, it's not a mill zone. On the other side. I think it's bad, man. There were people on the fields west outside of the compound earlier. Oh, for God's sake. That side is worse. I guess they're gonna use the shed to punk in through. Ovis is gonna start hearing some crawling around, or some uh, walking around. I think he already hears it. Yeah, he hears it. He might be able to get a shot through the wall here. Okay. Slayer did. There's two. 1v2 for Scottish now. He knows where both of them are. I don't think he's got any rockets. What do you do next? I think he's trying to peek through the bottom of the fence now. So 6-1 was pushed right up here, and I get I guess Slayer saw him either through this slit in the fence or he saw him under the fence moving. Probably through the slit. Scottish is gonna go head on here. Maybe just walk it in. Down to the wire for round two. Scottish taking his time peeking through the fence here. I don't think he's going to see Hovis. He might see a leg. Hovis now peeking the corner. Scottish is going to pie it back. Hovis might spot him. Hovis doesn't see him. You can barely see Hovis's head there. He's leaning while prone. So the only thing you're going to see is the head, but his gun may definitely be able to shoot Scottish here if he peeks him through. Damn it, you're all cowering in corners. And Scottish knows it too. A little bit more cover here. I wonder if he fancies jumping up. Instead, he's going to walk right around. Mm -hmm. 
Scottish stands up here. Hovis might spot him. Uh, Hovis is actually still looking through the hole in his fence, so Hovis is blind to all this right now, except for maybe that sound. Hovis turned back around. I think he heard Scottish go prone. Scottish gets Hovis through the... They got some blind firing going on. If Scottish just only realized this is a one-way building, he could just go in. But Slayer would probably be able to get him through a wall. I don't know how much ammo Scottish has got left, but it can't be much. Scottish, is he going to try to go through the back here? He is. He's going to have to walk really close here. Slayer might hear him and spam him through the wall. Replays get posted on YouTube? Yes. Eventually we do. They'll be live on the channel here for about a week. Until they disappear from Twitch. But ultimately they get reposted to YouTube. Scottish going back to the front door. Slayer is still... Might have heard Scottish start walking up steps here. I think... Oh no. I think Scottish got him through the wall because his gun was sticking through. And that's GG called.